Hi, Terry Shanefeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate sensitivity of a diagnostic test. So I have a hypothetical study in which 200 patients are enrolled to determine the accuracy of a new ELISA-based test for influenza. 100 of the patients were diagnosed with influenza by the reference standard culture of respiratory secretions. 80 of the patients with influenza had a positive ELISA-based test, as did 5 of the patients without influenza. So I want to determine the sensitivity of this new ELISA-based test. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my 2x2 two two table. And 2x2 two two table is a pretty standard way we make calculations from studies. By convention, across the top, disease status is up here um, as determined by our reference standard. And across the side over here is our new test results, whether they be positive or negative. And I'm just going to fill in each of these four quadrants. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to label each of these boxes um, with a letter that we'll use later for the formula for sensitivity. So I said there were 200 total patients enrolled in the study, and 100 of them were diagnosed with influenza. So the total number of patients with influenza is 100, so I'll put that down here. Because there were 200 total patients and everything has to add up, I'll also have 100 patients who didn't have influenza. Next, I said 80 of the patients with influenza who had a positive ELISA test. So 80 of those with influenza who had a positive ELISA test goes in this box. And five people without influenza also had a positive ELISA-based test. So five is going to go here. Everything just has to simply add up. So 100 minus 80 is 20, and 100 minus 5 is 95. So now I've got my 2x2 two two table filled in, and now I can make my calculation of sensitivity. Now I think the best thing to do is to understand conceptually what sensitivity means and not understand or memorize a formula. So what is sensitivity? So sensitivity is the proportion of people with disease who have a positive test. So the proportion of people with disease who have a positive test is the sensitivity. Now I think if you understand this concept you'll be able to figure out how to make this calculation much better than memorizing numbers. So let's look at this as we try to plug in some numbers to figure out sensitivity. So I said it's the proportion of people with disease. So everybody with disease will be down here in the denominator. So there are 100 people with influenza. So 100 is going to go in the denominator. And I need to know what percentage of this 100 people had a positive test. So everybody with influenza who had a positive test. Is this 80? We'll put 80 here. 80 out of 100 is 80%. So the sensitivity of this new ELISA-based test is 80%. And what that means also is that if you had 100 people um, with influenza, it will pick up 80% of them. And conversely, it will miss 20% of them. So that's one of the ways to think about sensitivity. Now, if you like to memorize formulas, everybody with disease is this column. So we'll add up these two boxes, A plus C. And we want to figure out what percentage of A plus C had a positive test, which is just, just this box up here, A. So A over A plus C is our sensitivity. Again, I think it's much better to think about this conceptually as the proportion of people with disease who have a positive test. And that's a much better way of uh, making the diagnosis and trying to memorize formulas.